Hello everyone. So today we will be talking about different basic terminology that is related uh, to with the fetus fetus in uterus. So we will be talking about what different um, terminology like lie presentation, presenting part, attitude, denominator, and fetus position. And we will be talking about all these things. So we will be talking all these things with the help of picture. So so firstly talking about what is lie. The um, the lie is the relation. Lie refers to the relationship of the long axis of the fetus to the long axis of centralized uterus or maternal spine so and lie can be longitudinal lie or transverse or oblique or unstable lie and longitudinal lie is 99% uh, per in 5% cases and it is uh, one of the most present common presentation most pro common lie that is present in fetus as we can see uh, this chart shows the different position of fetus. Uh, you can see this is a relationship of the long axis of the fetus in re with the relations of long axis of uter uh, centralized uterus is known as or maternal spine is known as uh, lie and the longitudinal lie is most common and this this is also longitudinal although it looks oblique here you can see the this uterus is just um, uh, uh, uterus is uh, the lie, uterus is lies uh, obliquely so that's why it is also seen as uh, fetus is seen as oblique but not if we again rotate the uterus and uh, make it to the centralized position then we will see that this is a longitudinal lie you can see the long axis of fetus and long axis of the uterus is same and we have this is oblique the uterus is in the normal position and the fetus is in the oblique the, the long axis of fetus with the maternal spine or uterus is oblique so this is known as oblique lie. Um, this is the transverse lie where the uh, long axis of fetus is uh, perpendicular with the long axis of spine or uh, centralized uterus. So this is called transverse lie. So this is longitudinal lie and transverse lie. Then we have the, some next terminology known as presentation. It, and presentation is known as the part of fetus which occupies the lower pole of uterus or pelvic green. And... Uh, and it is called presentation of fetus and accordingly the presentation may be cephalic or breech presentation or soldier or other and cephalic presentation is present in 96.5 percent cases and it is most common presentation the cephalic presentation here we can see the different position of the part of the fetus which occupies the lower pole of uterus is known as the presentation here we you can see the head is in the lower pole of uterus so this is known as vertex or uh, so this is cephalic presentation and this is uh, where the area the breach of the fetus uh, the buttocks lie in the lower pole of uterine or the pelvic rim so that is this is not that's why it is called breach presentation and here the soldier of the fetus lies in the pelvic rim that's why it is called as soldier presentation and the breach presentation is present in three percent of the cases and vertex in 96.5 percent of the uh, in cephalic in 96.5 percent cases so that's why cephalic presentation is most common presentation nextly we have the terminology known as the presenting part the presenting part is defined as the present part of the presentation which overlies the internal loss and it is felt by the examining finger through the cervical opening and thus in the cephalic presentation the presenting part may be vertex and that is most common and bro face depending upon degree of flexion of the head so this is uh, presenting part this shows, shows the presenting part Thus, this is uh, the pre baby is in the cephalic presentation, but the presenting part is vertex. Uh, the vertex is known as the uh, part of the skull, and the, here this is called vertex. Uh, uh, it is still vertex presentation, but uh, it is slightly deflexed head. Here, the so it is cephalic again. This is again cephalic presentation, but with the uh, bro presentation. Bro means this uh, above the eyebrow. We can see the, the part of the skull that is a bro is presenting and here the face is in the uh, we the, the we can see the face presentation in the this and this is the fetal skull showing different part of the fetal skull and this is bro if there is bro is uh, the presenting and we can feel the bro from the internal nose then that is called bro presentation this is face vertex and this is occiput and this is the this is in uh, the locating the presenting part of the fetus similarly in the breech presentation the uh, it may be flexed, uh, complete breeze, extended, the frank breeze or foot may be present, that is known as footling. This is breeze presentation with frank breeze, this is frank breeze, this is complete breeze, and this is uh, footling. And fourthly, we have the terminal known, uh, logic known as attitude. Attitude is the relation of different part of the fetus. 
to one another and it is called attitude and it may be flexion deflection or extension flexion deflection or extension the universal attitude is that of flexion during the latter month the head trunk and limbs of the fetus remain maintain the attitude of flexion on all joint and they form the ovoid mass the fetus uh, fetal denominator is an arbitrary bony fixed point on the presenting part which comes in relation with the various quadrant of the maternal pelvis and the following are the denominator of the different presentation here the like this is occiput is a denominator in the uh, vertex presentation the the chin mentum is mentum chin is uh, chin in the face presentation the frontal eminence in the bro presentation it is denominator the acromion is a fetal denominator in soldier presentation and sacrum is the um, sacrum is denominator in the bridge presentation finally we have that terminology known as position position is a relation of the denominator to the different quadrant of the pelvis for the for the descriptive purpose the pelvis is uh, divided into equal segment of 45 degree to the place the denominator in the east segment and thus theoretically there are eight point with each presenting part here the anterior the and here the anterior posterior and left and right uh, position is referred in relations with the maternal pelvis with the mother in the erect position however some have written the conventional description of four vertex presentation so the the vertex occupying the left anterior quadrant left anterior quadrant uh, is the most common one the vertex occupying the left anterior quadrant is the most uh, common uh, one and it is called left occipital anterior position and this is the first vertex position and the left occip right occipital anterior is the second vertex presentation and the right occipital posterior is the third vertex presentation and the left occipital posterior is the fourth vertex presentation it goes this way in the clockwise direction and thank you that was all about uh, basic terminology related to the fetus now in next video we will come up with a new topic in obstetric till then keep revising and have a good day